hi guys thank you for tuning in so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this mouth watering finger licking grilled catfish it's very easy but the taste is so rewarding you guys with that said let's jump right into the video These are the ingredients I use to make the grilled catfish. You're gonna need one catfish, a combination of green, yellow, and red bell peppers, and also some scotch bonnet pepper or any hot kind of pepper. Then some onion, garlic, and ginger to taste, of course, and some spices. These spices include salt, sizzly cubes, suya pepper, yeah, and mixed herbs. And also I have some vegetable oil in the last plate. I'm going to coat the fish with some oil and start the preparation. Yeah, so the next step would be to rub some oil on the body of the fish and then make some pockets on your fish. Just as you can see, I already did mine. This would help your spices to penetrate and bringing out the superb taste of the fish yeah so just make those holes on both sides of the fish and then after that you go ahead to rub your mixed spice into onto the fish rub it on the body of the fish and especially in the holes and in those pockets yeah give the fish a very good rub coat it uh, thoroughly all over the fish and then set it aside to marinate for about 10 minutes So guys, as you wait for the fish to marinate, you blend your pepper mixture and fry the sauce that you will use to coat the fish before grilling it. So first of all, you pour some vegetable oil in a pan. Guys, you really don't need too much oil for this because the catfish itself has a lot of natural oils. So you don't want to add a lot of oil to that. So yeah, just add your oil and pour in your pepper your blended pepper i actually grinded my pepper to be a little bit coarse i didn't want it too smooth so as you can see the pepper is a little bit coarse and then yeah you just pour that in the pot and begin to fry uh, you should fry this depending on your quantity you should fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes and it's ready when the water in the pepper is all dried up yeah and also a little tip you guys it can get really stuffy when frying this pepper so you might want to open up the windows fish it's been marinating for about 10 minutes now and i'm just going to cut it all around with the pepper sauce and guys i forgot to add that while i was frying the pepper i added some spices to it just the usual salt seasoning cubes curry and thyme just as you would like and then yeah i will just go ahead and begin to rub it on the body of the fish not forgetting the pockets as usual yeah rub it generously on both sides of the fish yeah and after cutting the fish just wrap up the foil and put it in the oven when the fish was almost done i cut up my chips and began to fry and i also cut some cabbage and carrots which we're going to use for the cold slaw guys the fish is finally ready i baked this for about two hours uh, i think the time for baking depends on the size of your fish 
and yeah it's done and it's ready and i'm just gonna go ahead and garnish it with the potatoes uh coleslaw and some cooking bars yay that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please like, share with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be bringing more fabulous and delicious recipes your way, so stay tuned. Bye! See you next time.